The crowd. Drawn out project management processes. There are 47 processes in the fifth edition of the PMBOK. Here is an explanation of one of them. Control communications. And I like to draw this with the little hands around it because what you're doing is trying to control the communications of your project. Are there any problems with it? Do there need to be changes? Is it working? Is it not working? And trying to control the communications as it's being set out or, or used. So our inputs to this process are of course going to be the communications. How are we communicating? How much? How frequently? What's going on? How is it being said? Uh, probably following our plans. Also, how is the project going? So there's going to be data on the work performance. How is it going? How is it not going? Just the collection of all of the information, I mean, sorry, data around it, because we're going to get to information in a minute. Additionally, we're going to have our organizational process assets. Those are all the templates and tools, or, or um, I should say, um, uh, assets that we have to use in order to communicate. And also, we have our plans. We have the plans of what we plan to communicate, how we plan to communicate, what we're going to communicate, as well as any issues to how things are going or not going correctly. So those inputs are used for our tools and techniques. And there are three tools and techniques in the control project communications. One, of course, is the easiest, is our expert judgment. How have we done this before? What makes the most sense? How should it work? That information becomes very valuable in terms of just how we go about doing it. And that comes with experience. And it doesn't have to be as a project manager's experience. It could be anyone's. Also, we have information management systems. So think about any way that you can control information or gather it. So I'm just going to draw a, a computer here just to kind of signify uh, any way that you uh, keep track of your information and, and communications. And of course, meetings, 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 meetings. That is an easy tool. Now to the output. Um, we had before I mentioned the work performance data. Now once we use that information or, or collect it, we make knowledge out of it and wisdom and what we call work performance information. And that is one output and hopefully then two, based on how the decisions are made and our, our communications, we're probably going to have to update our project documentations. And that could vary based on what, of course, is being controlled in the communications, as well as any updates to the plans. And that would be your project management plan and the updates. And that is a quick look at the control project communication.